Thursday, the 25th of August 2022. First reading. Reading from the first book of Corinthians. I, Paul, appointed by God to be an apostle, together with Brother Sosthenes, send greetings to the Church of God in Corinth, to the holy people of Jesus Christ, who are called to take their place among all the saints, everywhere who pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, for he is their Lord no less than ours. May God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ send you grace and peace. I never stop thanking God for all the grace you have received through Jesus Christ. I thank him that you have been enriched in so many ways, especially in your teachers and preachers. The witness to Christ has indeed been strong among you so that you will not be without any of the gifts of the spirit while you are waiting for our lord jesus christ to be revealed and he will keep you steady and without blame until the last day the day of our lord jesus christ because god by calling you has joined you to his son jesus christ and god is faithful sponsorial psalm i will bless your name forever o lord I will bless you day after day, and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. I will bless your name forever, O Lord. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendour and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. I will bless your name forever, O Lord. They will speak of your terrible deeds, recount your greatness and might. They will recall your abundant goodness. Age to age shall ring out your justice. I will bless your name forever, O Lord. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, hallelujah. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my Father. Hallelujah. Gospel, a reading from the book of Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, because you do not know the day when your master is coming. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what time of the night the burglar would come, he would have stayed awake and would have not allowed anyone to break through the walls of his house. Therefore, you too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. What sort of servant, then, is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household, to give them their food at the proper time? Happy that servant if his master's arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you solemnly, he'll place him over everything he owns. But as for the astonished servant who says to himself, my master's taking his time, and set about beating his fellow servants, and eating and drinking with drunkards, His master will come on a day he does not expect, and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Gospel of the Lord.